Hi there, it's uh, Ken from uh, E-Bike Cruising. Thought I'd uh, I'd share a little information uh, with you all for uh, uh, stem bike stems. Uh, what I'm find what I found was after I bought a new uh, bicycle, I found that the uh, the height of the the rise on the handlebar it uh, just wasn't good enough. It was not tall enough. <laughs> So I went uh, to uh, to see what I could do about getting it higher, and I come up with some some things here. But I think I've come up with a really good solution that um, you know, for some people that were say your handlebar height, you know, one inch, two inches uh, can make a difference in terms of the height, quite a difference, and so therefore. Uh, when when you get a stem that'll raise it uh, two inches, what happens sometimes is the the, uh, the stem it won't let you put the handlebar uh, position like the horizontal position closer to you. It it keeps it at that other uh, spot, and so consequently you don't get a really finite adjustment. And so I've come up with something I think is really good we'll get into it here shortly so here uh here is the uh a stem that uh, basically it's came from the factory so you know when you put it on on the stem and it pushes the bar out well it pushes it out but you can you can turn the say you turn the stem around to bring the handle closer to you but by doing that it just brings it that much closer than you want it to be and so it just doesn't work and doesn't look good so um, that was the original one and here's here's another uh, here's another one that has a rise to it, a small rise you can see it I think it's about a seven degree rise but same deal when you put it on and then you flip it around it's either too far away or or it's too close because you can't adjust it so I went to uh, this one, which is again, um, this one here, what it lets you adjust is, you can see it, you can, you can move it from the center pivot spot and you can bring it closer to you or further away. And this one will go, I think this one was 60 degrees in either direction, which is fine. So what it, it was good. What it do, did do was it lets me get the handlebar to the exact position I wanted in terms of distance away from me. But the problem was then it went too tall. It went so high that it was stretching all the cables and all. I'll show it to you on the bike here shortly. So here's a picture of the bike that, uh, the new bike that I was trying to get these handlebars adjusted to. And, um, the problem was, I you know, when you look at the handlebars and, and where the seat is, again, it, it was either too high or it was too close toward me. And I finally came up with a bicycle stem. Now, when you take a quick look at it, you'll see it. It's a dual stem. It has two adjusting points. So you got an adjusting point here. The stem attaches to the bike, the stem. And then you get an adjusting point so you can move this whole bracket back or forward. And then there's another adjusting point and you can see it. It's, it's rear where the handlebar attaches. It, it adjusts there in the middle. So there's two adjusting points. And because there's two adjusting points, it lets you really lets you zero in on where you want that handlebar to to be positioned then you, you can just get it perfect it's a good idea it's a model called xlc it's a st 15a and i bought it from uh from bike in or actually it sometimes has a trade name called uh, trade in and um, you know it wasn't cheap for canadian dollars it cost me about uh, I think it was about $56 and took about uh, three weeks to get here. But in my opinion, I still, the nice part was it's given me some flex in the cable and I can further adjust it up. Although I don't think I need to. I think it's pretty good where it is. 
and um, you know, it's just got great flexibility. Recommend to try it. Uh, bike in XLC SD15A. Talk to you later. Bye now. So uh, here's a short footnote. This is the uh, Cyrusher Ovia that I purchased. I uh, had to switch from a uh, step over bike to uh, to a step through bike. Hip problems and it was getting more and more difficult to step over. So I went to, to this, uh, the bike. It's an interesting bike. Uh, it's, it's got plenty of power, 750 watts rear drive. Um, the, the only thing that Possibly, uh, I'm not so keen on what the bike is, and be, I'll be honest, and adjust the power that's going to pedal assist one and slow the bike down and let me put more pedal effort in, so therefore I would get more, more exercise. But I guess I could change the chain ring size. Um, I've tried a few other settings like adjusting, adjusting the, uh, the speed limit, did all those other things. And it really didn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, so far, I like the bike. It's it's really good. I, it's a nice ride, dual suspension, but it's just that pedal assist issue. So, anyhow, we'll see if we can work through it. Anyhow, hope you all enjoyed this. I haven't spoke to you for a while, so uh, try and make a few videos this year, maybe a couple of rides. Anyhow, have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.